Did I ever tell you about the force of nature? Okay, the force of nature is a little electrolyzer. That's this little unit right here. And it electrolyzes water so that it sanitizes and disinfects inside the homes that you clean. All right, here's the reason for it. During the 2020 pandemic, if you're into cleaning, and most of you are, you've been like me where you go to the grocery store shelves and the supplies are scarce. And there's not the supplies that you need in order to go to your cleaning jobs. And so that's forced us into this weird pivot where we've had to find whatever's available. And then we're scanning the barcodes there inside the grocery store, looking to see if they're safe as replacement products for our customers' homes. Then we go back to our offices and we pull up the safety data sheets and we read and we try to figure out what surfaces we can use our replacement supplies on. Okay, it's a lot of extra work during the pandemic. Okay, so we're still short on supplies at, on a national level, we're still short. Okay, so lots of people kept asking me, are you using force of nature? What about force of nature? Can I use force of nature instead? I was not using force of nature. And so I sought out the company and I said, can you send me a kit so that I know what it is and I know how to use it and would I recommend it to my friends that are asking if this is a valid product? So this is what they sent to me and I'm not a paid affiliate of theirs or anything, but they did send this to me for free. So just full disclosure. This is an electrolyzer and it works off of regular tap water. So what that means is you don't need special filtered water or bottled water or any of that stuff. There's a fill up line on the back. So you're gonna fill up your water just from the regular tap up to the fill line. Now I'm gonna make a note right here. On the back of the unit, there's a little tiny rubber plug that goes inside where the electrical outlet goes. So we wanna make sure no matter what that that is covered while you're filling it up because we don't want water to get in there, okay? So we wanna make sure the rubber stopper is on the unit itself when we're filling it up. Fill it up to the fill line and then there are little nugget packs. And the nugget packs are called activator packs and it has water, vinegar, and salt in it. And I do not recommend that you make your own because we are not chemists, right? And so there's a very specific amount in a specific formula designated for a specific size of water and designated for a particular activation method, okay? So we're not gonna try to reinvent the wheel. We're just gonna use the wheel that already exists. And these activator packets, the good news is they're readily available. So you can carry a stash of these in your supplies with you. And you can make sure that when you do your inventory at night that you have enough for tomorrow's cleaning, okay? So that's super exciting about that. And they're small, they're compact, you can carry them with you. All right, so the cool thing is, is one packet will fill up one 12 ounce jar of water. And so once you have your little beacon all set up and it's full of water, you're gonna put one activator packet inside. You just twist off the top, pour it inside, and then you push the start button on the front after you've plugged it in. I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna make a quick note. This is the plug that comes with it. This unit, if you're not using this unit on your activator, it will void your warranty, okay? So you can't use a replacement plug, you must use this plug. Also, if you make your own vinegar supply, it will also void your warranty. So you wanna make sure that you follow the exact instructions just as we do on all cleaning supplies and chemicals. So this is the activator pack. This is the plug that you use. So once you plug it in, uh, what you do is you leave it on for nine minutes. That is gonna activate a bunch of little bubbles and whatever, and it will electrolyze the water that's inside. What that means is you have water, salt, and vinegar, which are in the mixture, and it busts the molecules apart and it creates something new. The something new is registered by the EPA on the list N, and that kills SARS and CoV-2, which creates the coronavirus, okay? So this kills germs at 99.9% .9 on most surfaces. And I say most surfaces, non-porous surfaces, okay? So if you have sealed countertops, like a marble counter in a bathroom, a vanity, it will be great for that. If you use it on, the, on a bathtub, it would be great for that. If you use it on a shower glass door, it would be great for that. If you wanna use it on kids' toys, it would be great for that. A high chair lid, great for that. If you're gonna use it on like a jumping system with kids where they have the little tray and they uh, sticky fingers, whatever, spray for that. So it's great for toys, it's great for pet toys, it's great for kids' toys, it's great for the bathtub area, it's great for the bathrooms. You can use it on glass, you can use it on all different kinds of surfaces, but it's great for all different kinds of surfaces that are sealed. That's the key, the surfaces are sealed. And so instead of trying to buy a ready to use cleaning supply that's like five or six bucks, this breaks down to be like seven cents per ounce. So it's pretty affordable and you can buy the replacement packets on Amazon. And I will leave links in the show notes so that you guys can um, access that and also access the replacements. This is also great. I love the size of the bottle. 
I'm wearing a supply made apron and it has these loops on them. It's the perfect size for carrying with you so that as you're cleaning the house and you're moving about, you have that right there with you. You guys are gonna ask me about the apron too. I will leave links in the show notes to the apron as well. I forget that you guys asked me about all this stuff. Um, I do wanna make a note that this is just a small spray bottle that you buy in the Walmart section in the travel department with all those little tiny travel things. This is under three ounces. And so you can take your solution that you've mixed up and you can pour it in here and keep it inside your purse. This is perfect for when you go out and about. If you go to like a restaurant and you open the door of the restaurant that everybody touched as they walked in, you can spritz your hands, rub your hands together, and it sanitizes your hands. Also, if you're out and about and you go like to a grocery store and there's a shopping cart, if it hasn't been sanitized, you can sanitize your own. A couple notes, and you'll see that there's a little label on this. This solution, because it's non-toxic, it doesn't have any additives, it doesn't have any preservatives in it, and it is activated with the little bubbling system, it's only good for about two weeks because it doesn't have any of the preservatives that a lot of cleaning chemicals have. So after two weeks, you wanna replace the, the formula. And you're probably gonna use it all within a couple of days, so that's not an issue. But you'll notice that on the container itself, on the back of it, it has the OSHA labeling right on the back of it so that you can see exactly what's in here. What I like to do, and I just removed the tape so that I could show you the label, but what I do is I put just a little piece of masking tape. And you can just buy any masking tape from the store, use painter's tape or whatever. I just put the date, force of nature, and then the date so that within two weeks, I can look at the date and say, oh, it's time to replace that. Because after two weeks, it becomes non-effective and it just turns into like water, right? So you wanna make sure that you have the activated stuff in there, which is two weeks. All right, so is it a great product? It's a great product because it replaces the need for racing to the store between jobs to look for cleaning solutions and cleaning supplies. And like I say, it is EPA registered, it's on the list and EPA is the United States Environmental Protection Agency and they regulate cleaning chemicals and they test each individual product and then they test the product as a whole. And it has passed their test, they say it is effective, it does kill 99.9% .9 of germs, they highly recommend it. In an era where cleaning supplies are still scarce, this is another option and I highly recommend it for you if you're not using it. It's great for homeowners, it's great for professional house cleaners. And uh, there is something that I will uh, suggest. They have a timer on here. When you turn it on, a blue light comes on to let you know that it's turned on. And then it turns green after nine minutes when your solution is ready. If you just leave this plugged in, like if you make this in your bathroom and you just leave it plugged in, this acts as a night light, but it works off of the traffic light system. So it goes green, yellow, and then red. And so at green, it means your product is good. After two weeks, as you're narrowing down the two weeks, your time is running out, the light turns yellow. And then when the light turns red, that means it's time to replace your solution. So even if this is empty and you just leave it plugged in like a nightlight, the light at the bottom will cue you in to when it's time to replace your solution. So it's a really fascinating little product. Like I say, this is your investment, but once you own this, then you own it for life, right? And you can just keep making your own solutions over and over and over again at seven cents per ounce. So this is the Force of Nature product. Um, I do highly recommend it as a solution to running to the store and not finding what you need. At least this, you know what you're getting. You know what the ingredients are. They're ingredients that you can pronounce. They're ingredients that you can feel safe about. There are no toxic chemicals. There are no flavorings, no colorings no additives, nothing that's gonna trigger allergies or asthma or eye irritations or any of those things. One note, when you pour it in from the little nugget, it does smell like vinegar because it has vinegar in it. And after it's activated, it's gonna have a slight smell of chlorine, okay? So it kind of activates and it smells like chlorine. That's how you know when it switches from one smell to the other, that it's activated and it's ready to go. All right, I hope that helps a little bit. If it does, give us a thumbs up. Ask your questions in the comments below. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.